In this video, I will share a guide on how to install the latest version of Game Config for both Grand Theft Auto V Enhanced and Legacy Edition. Game Config is a simple solution file that helps the game run more smoothly for those who install too many mods in GTA V. So, welcome to GTA Wood. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's begin. Open the official Game Config page, and I'll show you which files you need to install. But first, I would like to give a huge shout out to the modder for making this mods pack, and I request everyone to subscribe to them on YouTube and support support them the best you can. Now, if you have the GTA 5 Enhanced Edition, you will need to download this file from here. And if you have GTA 5 Legacy, aka the original game, you will need to download Game Config from this button. So, I have my mods pack here in a single folder, and if we open this folder, we have two files. The reason I put them in a single folder is that you might get both the Enhanced Edition and Legacy Edition Game Config files in a single zip file in future updates which you will be able to download using this main download button. So if that happens, do not get confused. To install Game Config, you will need to install Heap Limit Adjuster, which you get from here. Then Pack File Limit Adjuster, which is extremely important, and this limiter mods pack from here. But in this video, I will only be showing the installation for Game Config. So if we go back in Mods and open our Mods folder, the first file is for GTA 5 Enhanced Edition, and the second file is for GTA 5 Legacy Edition, also known as the original game. First, I will explain the files in the folder, and both folders have similar files. So let's just open the first folder, which is the GTA 5 Enhanced Game Config. And don't worry, I will also open the second folder in a moment. If we open the Enhanced file, the first backup folder contains the original Game Config file just in case something goes wrong. I'll teach you how to make a backup of your original file later in the video. The second folder contains our custom game config files. If we open this, we have a lot of folders, but don't worry, you only need to select one folder that you think is good for you. The first folder means the amount of traffic spawns in your game will decrease to its minimum possible number. This just means very few cars and bikes will spawn in the game, and roads will be empty all the time. Just like that, the second file will do the same thing but it will also decrease the number of people spawning in the game during gameplay. So this will reduce both traffic and NPCs in-game to the lowest possible, which will decrease the game load on your computer. But the further down you go in the folder, the amount of traffic and people's spawn rate will increase. For example, the second last folder will increase the amount of traffic and NPCs to a very high level. Just like that, we have this last file. I do not recommend you go that high unless you have an RTX 5090 or RTX 5080 for GTA 5 Enhanced. For this video, we will be installing the second folder from the top, which I think is perfect for most people. If we open this folder, we get our game config file. As I said before, both GTA 5 Enhanced and GTA 5 Legacy have similar files, but in this video I will be installing the game config from the GTA 5 Legacy folder, as I will be installing game config in the original game. I will share a few more details like how you can open GTA 5 and open a V for Enhanced Edition as well. Enhanced Edition users can now skip to the timestamps on your screen to see the installation steps. For now, we will go back to where we have the Legacy game config folder. Let's open this folder, and as I explained before, the first folder is our original backup file, and the second folder is what we will be installing. But here, we have one more folder called Old Versions. Now this folder is for those who have a very old version of GTA 5. So if somehow you are one of them who has a game from 2018 or before, you need to open this folder and follow the installation steps. But for us, let's open this folder, which has the latest files. Here, we have two folders. The first folder is for those who have a decent computer, and the second folder is for those who do not have a very good computer, but still want to install a lot of mod packs. So pick wisely, but let's open this folder. From here, we will be installing this second folder, which is perfect for most gamers who want to install new mods in GTA 5. So we will just open the folder, and here is our game config file. Now, the installation for both Legacy and Enhanced is 100% the same, and this section will cover how to install the game config file. Alright, first I need you to put this folder on the right side of the screen and open your OpenIV software from the start. If you do not have OpenIV, you can watch this video on your screen for GTA 5 Enhanced Edition, which will help you install OpenIV in GTA 5 Enhanced. And for those who have the original GTA 5, you can watch this video to install OpenIV software. Once you open the tool, select Windows from here and wait for OpenIV to load up, which can take up to 20 seconds. Once your OpenIV program is fully loaded up, put that to the left side of the screen. After that, you need to go to the Update folder, then open this update.rpf file, go to Common, then open the Data folder, and scroll down to look for the GameConfig XML file. This is the file. 
First, we back up this original file. To do that, create a new folder somewhere on your computer and rename it as backup, just like I created one in this folder. Then open the folder and simply drag the original file here into your backup folder. Also guys, to make your life easy, I will leave my original game config file from both GTA 5 Enhanced and GTA 5 Legacy in the video description. You can use that if something goes wrong. Now, I will show you how to install our custom game config file. For that, go back and first you need to turn on edit mode from the top section and hit the show in mods button. Let OpenIV take you to the mods folder. After that, we will be in the same folder, and if we scroll down, this is the file we will be replacing. To do that, simply select your custom game config file and drag it into OpenIV. Just like that, our game config file is installed, but your work is not fully done yet. You will need to install heap adjuster, then pack file limit adjuster, and finally, this limiter mods pack. Otherwise, you will get an error like this on your screen. So I will leave links to them in the video description. Open them and install them as well. But I already have them installed, and as you can see, our game is working just fine. Now I can install as many mods as I like, and the game will never crash. Game Config will help you run the game more smoothly, especially if you have a low-end PC. With that, all the links are in the description. Leave a like, subscribe, and maybe watch this video on your screen.